All right, time for that bandit camp assault. Aha. You fool, you thought nobody else would have a bow. That's the thing, I don't see them carrying bows, so... Oh yeah, no, if they had bows, this would be much more annoying. <laughs> Gonna set the camp on fire? I mean, no reason not to. <laughs> Ouch. Was that an Red barrel. barrel? <laughs> Red barrel, should have seen it coming. <laughs> I thought they had access to gunpowder technology. Truly an advanced fantasy world they live in. I will say that by attaching everything to the same stamina magic bar system, uh, it does seem like there are a lot of times where it's just easier to hit it with your sword. Oh, yeah. And that's not a criticism. Uh, just sort of an observation that there have been a few times where it's like, yeah, I mean, I could shoot an arrow at him, but I'm out of stamina. I'm just gonna... Nice. Yes. Oops. Murder fly. Murder fly. Damn. Oh, this is their treasure room. Yeah, it is. Be able to fight all the pieces of heart. <laughs> I mean, you already got enough for one of them, so... Yeah, you're well on your way. Say they are going to start fading away soon. So I don't know if they do that actually. Oh really? I don't think I've seen one. I always worry. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I always get anxious that I'm going to miss out on stuff if I let it sit. That's definitely true. All right. Well, next excuse I have to go back to the capital, I can pick up that fun stuff. Yeah. As Lily approached the bridge, she knew she was walking into a trap. That's when the bandit leader appeared. You mean the pirate queen? No, their leader was uh, a bandit ninja. Pirate queen! Bandit ninja! Shh! Only one of you is right, you see. Guarding the bridge was... Do we want to beat up a pirate queen or a bandit ninja? I thought the pirate queen looked pretty boss. Yeah, right. Okay. Avast me, Hardy! This here be our bridge. The only way ye shall pass is with your head, lass. Attack, ye filthy bog scum! Those poor pirate ninjas. <laughs> Think I'll be as easy to defeat as those poop decks. Okay, that is a great. <laughs> that is a great Gosh, insult. A throwing, throwing thing, throwing parrots. Those are parrots. Almost certain of it. This should be funny. Oh, stuck on the other side of the fire. <laughs> yeah, those are parrots. 
How do you have so many? Those are deadly parrots, though. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with the pirate queen, man. <laughs> oh. I can't pick up the barrel. <laughs> it's gonna pick up the barrel and do something cool, but no. <laughs> Yeah, game one, won't you let us do something cool? <laughs> the young knight defeated the bandit leader. The path to the gasping marshes was now clear. Hooray! Nice. And down I like that we got to choose whether the leader was a pirate or a ninja. Yeah. Since they're pirate ninjas. It makes sense. Yeah. What's up, guys? I like the idea that it means that, you know, they were uh, they were pirates first, <laughs> and they let the ninjas in later. Like, uh, like a union expanding, you know? Oh, yeah. Nah. You know, the ninjas didn't have their own union or local, and, like, we talked it out, and we really do sort of the same thing, but in different areas. It really just logistically made sense, and so they started paying dues and, you know, became part of the local uh, pirate ninja guild. <laughs> the combined pirate slash ninja union. Exactly. They merged, like the AFL-CIO. Yeah. On the other hand, that makes me feel a little bit gross now, because it means we're a union buster right now. <laughs> I, I don't think they're actually a union. I think we made that up. I know, I know, but <laughs> in my own story, though, I did I did just make us a union buster, though, and I'm sorry. Oh, we're not busting them because they're in a union. I suppose that's true. We're fighting them because we have been hired to do a separate job. There is just so much junk in here. <laughs> and it's socially acceptable for me to bust it all up and take all of it. <laughs> I, was thinking, I think you can hit that shield a little. Yep. So many coins. I guess it saves us the trouble of having the Skyrim style lug all of their junk back and sell it. True. Like, I mean, there's a time and a place for realism, but I will admit sometimes having to carry two tons of cabbages back to sell is a bit much. Uh, every time you take a hit from a boss, you get into a speed-eating contest. Yep. <laughs> this is... Oh, I already hit the button for that. Oh, no. Hold the bone! There was just a chest sitting there? Are you skipping parts of the story again? Of course not! <laughs> I was just about to say... Just as Lily approached the chest, a swarm of rats appeared. Oh, shut up, Chris. <laughs> I wonder if we will actually get to skip a part of the story like that later. Those rats were too easy, Grandpa. <laughs> shut up, Chris. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe they weren't the only enemies she had to fight. <laughs> shut up, Chris. That while we're at it, she had to fight even more enemies! Oh! How's that, kids? I think Grandpa finally lost it. Ooh, zombies! Oh, neat. Those are new, right? Like, yeah, see those. I haven't seen those before. That was it! Sorry, children, I got a little excited! Oh, boy. You picked up brains. I did pick up brains. Zombies. I've got three brains in my pocket right now. Ew. <laughs> Oi, who are you there? We're supposed to be the new guys on this job. Says there has to be this many men manning this this particular job site. Yeah. We have all the gates up in accordance with OSHA compliance. What are you doing there? Oh, just, you know, Night Union 607. <laughs> oh, 
that's not, not that's like why that. they got so worried about you leaving is is that you're uh you're not a journeyman yet <laughs> ah, there you go this is not apprentice work lily what are you doing i'm just trying to help I'm trying to get us all sued <laughs> what if you get all the stuff but you accidentally get hurt i don't know if our medical will cover it if it's a if it's a non uh <laughs> compliant job or what if we bring the king back wrong oh yeah be hell to pay there you get the wrong like season of snapdragon it's not old snapdragon you brought back like i don't know mints or cloves or something or young snapdragon right. you didn't harvest it properly so oh, now it's like super it. bitter so he wakes up and he's just an angry uh king now <laughs> Because like of the bitter Snapdragon. Right. Yes. Some kind of complete 180 personality shift. He's just... He's like he hasn't had coffee in a while. Like, you know, he's got that <laughs> grumpy attitude forever now. There you go. Well, I had an excuse to go back to town. There was a teleport pad. I mean, yeah, you can just get back to it. Like, no problem. Show me your things. I mean, technically, I might have some sort of obligation to return stolen money. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, no one has said anything, like, when they sent you off on your mission. Alrighty. I wonder how that shop, like, regenerates stuff. I mean, it has to. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm curious what the mechanic is. Well, I switch screens. Or so that's probably screens it. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, it does occur to me that it seems like a horrible breach of security to still have those things working in the castle. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that Croesus hasn't visited the castle and some other place with a teleport pad, given that he's like the court wizard. Heck, it's probably how he got out of there so fast. Probably. He, he probably just ran out outside. front. Yeah, just ran out front, leaped on the teleport pad, and went somewhere. Cool looking marshes. Yeah. They've, they've done a really good job with the, the look of each place so far. Oh, oh. you look important. Yeah. I don't know if there's just going to be a boss ghost that you have to deal with later, or... No idea. There's one of those closed campsites. Ah, there's a person there. Hmm. Got a hole. Gotta jump in that hole. I mean, there's usually good stuff in there. Lily so what are you getting from the ghosts? They look oh, like things sort of soda. ectoplasm thing? I don't know. They look like cans of soda. Yeah. Oh, there's a spot to dig. Invincibility soup. Always welcome, fine. Oh, it's oh, that it's archaeologist. archaeologist, yeah. I've just made an amazing discovery! See this hole there? Inside is a mis a mythical fairy creature. Unfortunately, she refuses to talk to me. But hey, forget the fairy! I'm looking for the fabled wishing well. Not sure what it does, but I bet it's neat! There's also a big statue somewhere, and north of that is the Boiling Caverns. They say the terrifying entrance was carved long ago by fire mages to ward off travelers like me. Neat. <laughs> that guy definitely gives me a vibe. Yeah, no kid. Archaeologist! Definitely stealing stuff. Like, oh, absolutely. just bags full 100%. of artifacts. Alright, the oh, fairies. Oh, I forgot. The, the Grandpa Fairy is the best. Welcome, adventurer! We sense a brave and charitable spirit within you. 
Please allow us to bless you with a gift. The world is original and this piece of heart. Unfortunately, you come with a waterfall with no cave behind it. You want another one? Let's not be greedy. I'm curious which of the kids the other which of the grandkids the other fairy was. That's a good question. Probably whichever one did their chores that day. <laughs> I do like that the ghosts like hide for a bit if they don't get to you at a reasonable oh, no, amount of time. A, it's a boo mechanic. Oh. They go, in, they go yeah. Walk on the stones, it's much faster. What's over here? Speed strats? Speed strats. Don't wander off the path. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, they stuck around this time. Okay, so they just they summon ghosts, that's what we do. Yeah, how much you want to bet that's that uh, wishing well? Where at? That pile of rubble there? Yeah. Makes just a certain amount of sense. The evil wizard, like, blocked it off or collapsed it or something. Or just a constant pummeling by ghosts and these guys. I do like that you can hit them with their own projectiles. Like, oh yeah. That's actually a pretty cool feature. Old boss wishing. Granting wishes is what I do! Ten coins for just one wish! Well, that's cheap, sure. I hope you wished- I hope you wished for that! <laughs> oh, sorry that last wish didn't turn out right. <laughs> Ah, that's much better. Resurrection player. Yeah. Oh, jeez, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Give me some more money. <laughs> huh? Even the disciples don't know why this place is so haunted. Did the bodies of deceased warriors sink below the watery surface after a war? Or do necromancers practice black magic here in secret? All I want is to know is why this place smells worse than the knight's quarters. <laughs> I'll probably stinks for weeks after I get out of here. Well, if I get out. Okay, so I need 250 <laughs> coins. You, cough up the coins. <laughs> they don't seem to give coins. No, they don't. Uh, and neither do the ghosts, actually, come to think of it. Like, they'll occasionally spit out whatever those, like, little blue can-shaped things are. Cans of, like, Dr. Right Aid or whatever. RC Cola. They're definitely cans of RC Cola, which I've decided is Granddad's <laughs> favorite beverage. That makes sense. I mean, for a certain value of making sense, I suppose. RC Cola was invented by a grocer who didn't want to pay for stocking the name brand sodas. It's true. I believe that, yeah. He felt it was highway robbery, and he could make a better soda. Well, he certainly made a cheaper soda. He did! Uh, and, uh, the diet, uh, RC Cola was considered, like, the best diet soda. Uh, unfortunately, whatever artificial sweetener he was using got a bit of a bad rap. Uh... I don't even know if there's anything actually wrong with said sweetener. But it, it kind of got the same, like, MSG sort of, maybe there might be something to this. Which, uh, in the court of a public opinion, is enough to just outright kill a beverage. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find a thing to pick up to hit that button. Like a big rock? Big rock, or... Do bombs have weight for these sorts of puzzles? They usually don't. Do yeah, they? they do, yeah.
That's a clever mechanic. I like how the ghosts work. It's very fun. That's doable with just the bombs. The timing seems just a little too finicky on that one, you know? Yeah. Need to find something else to set down. Instead of destroying them. <laughs> yeah. Weird thing is I haven't seen a lot of pots pottery down here, you know? Like just lots of ghosts. You should destroy the summoner guys. They're gonna just keep making little ghost cubes for you. Swamp guy. Hello, fellow traveler. I set up camp here to brew a batch of my mushroom soup. The funky swamp gives it a stronger flavor. The problem is everyone loves mushroom soup, even the spirits. Surely they'll get me. Would you defend me, young knight, just while I brew this batch? Yeah, sure, why not? Great, do your best to hold them off while I do my thing. I just like the fact that this guy's really into mushrooms. Enough to live out in the swamp. He wasn't kidding, though. Like, Yikes, they're not even doing the boo thing. Nope, they really want whatever he's cooking, though. They definitely smell what that guy's cooking. No kidding. Good music, though. Uh oh. One of them got him. Hooray. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, young knight. You what at? Lily received a magic necklace that blesses the wearer with speed and stability over any terrain. Very useful. I figured out the uh, trick with that puzzle. I think so. Alternatively, I was gonna come back steal his pot. He I mean, I'm sure one, he but has. Broke it. I'm sure that he has plenty of pot if you go back and ask him. I mean, he is a crazy swamp man. That's true. Notice he didn't offer to give you any of his special mushroom soup. <laughs> I did notice. That's because I'm actually cooking up some LSD. See, the reason he can't fight off the ghosts is because he's not sure if they're real or hallucinations. <laughs> oh, you have one heart left. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, you do have a bunch of resurrection bombs in this, but... So do you have to equip the magic necklace, or nope. are you just faster now? I'm just faster now. That's sweet.
<laughs> guy is really just sort of getting go there. Haha! <laughs> nice! Jerk. <laughs> with Scarl the Witch for a while to rest. She's friendly, but I'm not sure why she's so obsessed with souls. She also kept mentioning a magic necklace she lost somewhere in the swamp. I'm definitely keeping it if I find it on my way to the boiling caverns. It's not like she needs it. Witches can fly on shovels, right? Or was it mops? I forget. <laughs> this person's so nice, it took good care of me. I'm totally keeping their thing if I find it. <laughs> Can't imagine why she lives in the swamp, not near anybody else. <laughs> Complete mystery. Yep. I wonder if you just found that necklace. Uh, that would make sense. Also, I can definitely see why someone living in a swamp would want a necklace of not getting slowed down by the bomb. Oh, yeah. I... They're being most unkind. I think that now it's just a battle of wills, whether or not you, you get him, or just leave him be. Yeah, it looks like I need to set things on fire. That teleport pad. that it managed to get that much air, you know? Yeah. Because that's like a lot higher. The marshes were a great challenge, but Lily bravely made it out alive. Now the dragons had roared while revealing the entrance to the boiling caverns. The path to the boiling caverns was now open. I get the feeling I shouldn't be here. Is one the Snapdragon route in the marshes? I'm a wander. I mean, I haven't seen anything that looks like it would be the thing. Well, and next time on Endless Mode, I'm probably just going to wander around the swamp for a bit, and then next next time on the Endless Mode, we'll hit the boiling caverns. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.